Hi Aquarius, I hope you're all doing well and I also hope you don't mind Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I was actually looking at his birth chart this morning and he has Venus in Aquarius. I thought, hmm, maybe that's why I like him so much. I don't know, Venus in Aquarius seems like it would be a very interesting placement to have. Let me know if you have Venus in Aquarius or if you know somebody who does and if they <laughs> and if you or they resonate with the character of Nicholas Gage. I don't know. Lovers and the Three of Swords. Ooh. All right. Let's see what we're getting into here, Aquarius. I went back and watched your reading from last month. Man, was that ever a strange, interesting reading? Um, yeah. So I'm hoping to get one that's a little bit more structured, but I'm bringing it up because I feel like it's going to resonate with someone who didn't see it. Uh, maybe someone who's new here and if you are welcome my name is Andy uh, but I'll link it at the end or maybe if you did see it it was a month ago so you could rewatch it and see if it resonates more or in a different way sometimes readings take time to actually come to form but also and or and also <laughs> uh, even if the reading resonates at the time if you come back to it later you have even more insight into what was going on it's pretty cool that way actually Okay, Aquarius, and you're the only sign I usually uh, remind to go back and watch, you know, the library of readings that are available to you. I don't usually say that to other signs. Something about you having an open mind um, and being able to do that, being able to travel through time. I'm hearing cross purposes. Okay, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. This is a general tarot card reading, so it may not resonate with you. If it does, there will be an extended, and you can find that link in the description box below. Sometimes I feel like a robot, I say it so much. I'm hearing robotics here. Interesting. Well, you are the sign of technology as well. What is your relationship like with technologies? The the technologies, interesting. Technologies these days, Aquarius. <clears throat> what throat chakra are you doing more communicating through technology than actually using your voice i feel like even in a love context technology could be playing a significant role in the way your relationships are developing or are not developing okay and this could be you know for good or for bad but i'm getting a message here to remind you about your energy as it works with technology and to keep that in mind when you are in relationship with someone that your frequency has a certain impact on i'm hearing on the text messages i don't know it seems specific but yeah i'm also getting a message i promise we're going to get into it but i gotta well i want to say what i'm getting um you could create something whether you're in a relationship now or coming up in the future, but you could create something with the person that you're romantically involved with. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like it would bring you two closer. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Aquarius, what's going on for the Aquarians here watching Spirit? gonna have them come out thank you Ooh, starting with the tower i'm seeing this though <laughs> aquarius i'm seeing this as like a, a a telephone tower telecommunications cow tower and it's like the signals being hit there's something going on here now maybe this is like trans you could translate this in a really mundane way like you're having miscommunication over text with someone or like there's an argument or something like this is or maybe there's something romantically developing but this seems to be a massive theme here for you in this reading uh but for some reason spirit's getting the message out in a like i'm hearing broadband like a larger frequency for you maybe this is a pattern you're realizing in all of your relationships for some of you, like you don't even like to text, <laughs> but you find yourself involved in these situations I'm getting. That's for some of you. What's that about? Okay, let's get one more. All right, Aquarius. At the bottom, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. I'll put the link, um, not the link, sorry. I'll put the name of the deck I'm using. Um, 
or the decks I use in the description box too. I can't remember off the top of my head what this is and I feel someone asking. So I will do that. Let's see, an energy that surrounds you at this time, the tower. Okay, we need to hear more about this spirit. Telecommunications tower. Hmm. I'm really getting drawn to pull one of these out. Can I get a card from here? We have emotion, gratitude, and regeneration. We have the symbols Aries, Gemini, and Cancer here. How do you communicate? Look, I'm serious here, Aquarius. I know. <laughs> I know this is kind of strange, but how do you communicate on text with someone? I feel like maybe somebody's not understanding you or you're not understanding. There's something getting lost in translation here. Maybe literally, maybe there's a language thing going on here. Be careful as well about, um, I'm hearing overextending your energy to somebody you don't know via um, email or via, via text. You could have maybe clients emailing you or something like this. There's a, an energy drain. You need to be very conscious of this for some reason here. And I thought this reading was gonna be more straightforward than last month, I guess not. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about the tower here. What are we talking about? The tower for Aquarius. Tell me about... I'm trying to remember if there was a Nicolas Cage movie that was about this. I feel like I'm seeing an image here. Okay, tell me about the tower here, Spirit secrets and loss oh boy did you find something Aquarius did you find a text message or did somebody find something out about you here If you are looking for a message, I usually don't ever deliver things like this, but you know, go through the trash, right? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe even literally, but I feel like this is telecommunications. Uh, like, yeah, the trash or the junk mail or something like this. Um, there is something in your energy space right now that is coming out and it's gonna cause uh, well, a revelation for you, a regeneration of emotion, but it looks like it's difficult. I feel as though, Aquarius, though, that you are finding something out about someone else. Uh, this could be someone you work with. Maybe they've done something illegal, I've heard. Okay, I don't know who that's for. Um, but yeah, it's a lot. Lying to myself, pessimistic, pay it forward. Maybe there was a forwarded email here. I think you knew the truth of the situation for some time. This might be coming up here, or this might be something from the past hold, with holding on. Uh, you know, energy's hard to pin down when it comes to time. Well, for me anyways, maybe not for other readers, but I work with it in a more kind of like nebulous, fluid way. Um, this might have something to do with your message as well. Maybe something's popping up here from the past that you weren't expecting or your partner's receiving a message from someone from the past, something like this. Tell me more here about the tower. Nine of swords. We end with the nine of swords in reverse here. So we're having a shift happen in the energy. But whatever's going now, on now with the tower, it's really causing a lot of stress and anxiety. What's Aquarius's position here? Are they in the Nine of Swords? Three of Cups. All right. I feel like there's a relief that you're going to feel if you don't already feel it for discovering something. It is a release of ener uh, energy that is going to lead to a new opportunity now. I feel like you're grateful for receiving some information here. Tell me more about the emotion. 
What's the emotion? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been going back and forth on something for a while, whether to reveal something or whether something's true. For a very small few of you, this is someone finding out a secret that you've been hiding. So, you know, make it fit how it works for you. Switch the roles around, do what you need to do. I'll just lay out the general message here. So I think we got it with the tower. There's something coming out a secret. It's going to cause a loss here. It's something that you didn't want to face or somebody didn't want to face. Could be about another person involved in the relationship, an affair, something like this, third party. Or it could be um, a message coming in here about a reunion that causes a tower moment. You're very pessimistic about it. You feel like there's secrets involved here. I'm hearing a loss of freedom. A shift that's coming in right now. Two of Wands. Well, naturally with the Tower, you're going to have to make some kind of decision here about what you want to do with this energy. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Devotion. And authority. Well, before you make a decision, I have a feeling you're going to look at all of the small details. Like, I'm hearing Virgo-esque. In a Virgo-esque way, we have Mars in um, Capricorn here and Saturn in Libra. But I am getting a Virgo vibe as well. Maybe you're involved with a Virgo. But there's something about the details here. There's something very serious going on that you're going to have to really decide whether you want to move forward after learning what you've learned what what's the motion here like where are we going three of wands knight of pentacles the good news is aquarius this is very whatever you're doing post tower situation is very well thought out it's very strategic it's stable it has longevity you are protect oh you are very protected here very protected i'm hearing your love is protected with the lovers here there's something about release for you. You were holding on to something, could be a secret, maybe someone else's secret, whatever it is you were holding on to, knowing something, it's like now it's coming out so that you can continue down your path. And it's going to lead to independence and success. I'm seeing financial gain here, truth and clarity and who you are and what you want. This is divinely guided. It looks difficult, but it looks like this had to happen in this way for whatever reason. And because the three of wands is coming right after the two of wands, I feel like despite the energy involved with the tower situation, which is usually difficult, this is going to be a easy transition for you when all is said and done, if it isn't already. You are very de devoted to your own path and to maintaining your energy flow of empowerment, I'm hearing. Wow. Okay, so something that is ending. Yeah, see, I, I just saw the Four of Pentacles holding on to a secret, holding on to some knowledge here. It could be the knowledge of someone else's secret. I feel like I just said that. Maybe there's a repetition going on. Escape. You've wanted to leave a situation for some time here. Or, or, uh, and someone was holding you back. Or um, you were holding someone else back. You know, there's two energies involved, obviously, in this story. So we have escape and riches. Whoever's leaving this situation is definitely heading towards financial security here. Tell me, I'm seeing choice, quarrel, and revenge. Tell me about this. I feel like you're taking the high road. Ooh, affair is coming out, Aquarius. It's kind of undeniable. It really does feel like they're, I mean, you can translate in whatever way you need. Um, I should title it maybe to make it more clear, but it looks like there's a secret coming out here about an affair. And you could have had revenge. You could have caused a fight about it. Romance. Yeah, okay. But I feel like you're taking the high road. I feel like you're, you're doing that so you can make out 
um, with your achievements in, uh, intact. I'm hearing impact. Um, and so that you won't lose anything financially. I'm also seeing empathy here. You know, even when somebody burns us, sometimes um, our first impulse is to, to, you know, like lash out and, and rage back. Uh, but I'm seeing that empathy actually is going to come in or take over. And um, it doesn't mean that you, it's more like empathy for yourself in the situation, knowing that, you know, um, you have to get out of it no matter how painful. So it's like you're going to decide not to do something vindictive, or at least the decision is there for you to not do something vindictive. You know, if you're dealing with an Aquarius and you're cross-watching, which I don't usually read like that, but I have a feeling somebody is here for an Aquarius and you're you're hiding like an affair from them, uh, <laughs> then I, I definitely feel like it's coming out. I feel like they're going to find out. Um, and I feel like Aquarius or whoever's watching, the, you know, the Aquarian is going to be a little, is going to be cold in this situation, but it's to, uh, it's, it's better than seeking revenge. Let's just put it that way. Wow. What a specific message, Aquarius. All right. Let's keep going here. The extended should be interesting. We'll get into more detail here. Okay, something in your life that is going to be illuminated, justice. Yes, exactly. This is justice for you to, to know or for the truth to come out here so that nothing's hiding. I feel like if money is involved in this situation, you will come out um, you know, on top legally. Tell me more about the justice. But if it's not about money, this is karmically balancing things out indecision I have here I do feel like with pessimistic lying to yourself there was a period where you weren't really sure if what you were being shown by your guides um, time and time again or that feeling you had in the pit of your stomach although I'm pointing to my heart chakra maybe you felt it in the heart here um, mm -hmm. something about like a low heart rate I'm hearing okay but there's something you felt dying almost here um, that you were holding on to. Aquarius, this sucks. I'm sorry if this is what you're going through, but I'm seeing the future of it and, the, and it is ultimately going to regenerate you and you will have gratitude for it. Okay, let's, let's um, see more. So give me one more about the justice originality mercury and aquarius extremism mercury and scorpio i feel like you're going to be shocked by something it's like you're shocked by the way someone was communicating with someone For, for someone here, and this is very specific, so if it's not yours, don't take it, but the, there was a cover-up happening under the guise of helping someone with their health. I really don't know what that's about, but it's like somebody was using that as a lie, like they were helping someone with their health with something. I don't, I don't know. But whatever you uncover, it's like you are not even going to believe how like complicated and convoluted things were the secrets the lies tell me more about that you're in control you are in control aquarius i'm hearing i know like yeah existential and i i've been saying this to myself recently that it's all a matter of perspective, right? How you want to deal with situations, how you want to look at them in retrospect as well, constantly shifting. Yeah, so there's something about perspective that Spirit wants to remind you about here. I don't know, this is a difficult message. Tell me about the lies. 
freak out expectation. Yeah, you're just going to be blown away by something you find out. Can you tell me a little bit more? I'm really, I'm getting no, but I want to see if I can push it just a little bit. Anything specific here? All in. Abandon. Hard work. Source. Oh, yeah. I feel like maybe someone's even coming to you, Aquarius. I'm seeing first move. Jealous. Agony. Could be the, a third party coming to you and telling you something that was going on here. Uh, but you're, yeah, like this, whatever was going on, there was a lot of work put into it. They were all in. I did see affair and romance, but of course this could be about work too. There could be some shady dealings going on there. So take it how it resonates. A change that lies ahead. And thank God, the magician. And look what you're doing here. As above, so below, right? Like from getting this karmic justice by knowing what's actually going on, by, you know, like having a false foundation crash down, you know, it's ultimately a good thing, right? You don't want to live in a tower of lies, right? Ooh, yeah. Um, so by having that crumble, you're manifesting the release of anxiety, worry, and stress. And I feel like this was having an effect on your health in some way, maybe in ways that you didn't even really recognize or see. You know, stress is like a killer and like legitimately um, what it does to your vibrational frequency. And I feel like that's why this is coming out to release you from those negative emotions that maybe you were subconsciously um, feeling but not really wanting to recognize. Okay, tell me more about the change that lies ahead for Aquarius. This might not be your reading. Okay, maybe that's why I was telling you at the beginning to um, check out last month's. And this shouldn't make you feel like, oh my God, what if they're lying to me? You know, oh my God, what if they're cheating on me? No, no, no. This should confirm something that you already know about or you feel deeply, like you have a very strong intuition. It shouldn't be a surprise to you, okay? Tarot readings should never be like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? No, they're, they're always a confirmation, okay? So if you feel like, I love him so much, I can't believe this is happening, this is not your reading. Just needed to be said there. Rebellion. And if, if you are hiding something from someone, then spirits, like, you know, getting you to face the reality of the stress of hiding something from someone. Okay. Publicity and rebellion. Protection here. I know my channel's really small, but for some of you, you could be in the... In the spotlight, you could be, you know, well known. You could have some level of fame here, and um, there's something that you had to conceal in the public eye, and it's like now you're not gonna have to do it. You could be the third party here. For some of you, you will make this public in some way. What you find out. But it's not going to be coming from a space of revenge. It will be more like a working through. You know, like you could talk to other people about betrayal or, or what you went through. And in that way, it becomes public. But it's not so much for revenge. You know, it's a way to release. It's a way to talk about your experience and your feelings. I also feel like when you're moving out of this energy or through this energy, you are going to create something here with Jupiter and Leo. And you are going to gain a lot of recognition for this. I'm seeing this angel point to a star here and you're, you are the star card. There is healing here and there is, I feel like there is some kind of recognition that you will gain. I'm hearing from the angels, but you know, also, um, yeah, also from other people as well. And it's for kind of going against the status quo. Now, Aquarius, as an archetype, as you know, you know, you are, you do rebel. Um, you are the, the rebel here of the Zodiac, the humanitarian. But you can also be a conformist on the opposite end. Like every sign has 
two polarities. Taurus can be, you know, really patient or really stubborn, you know, like, so there's polarities. And I feel like for some of you, you were way on that other side of just going along with something, even though you knew something wasn't right here. And now you're coming, you're, the pendulum swinging over to the rebel side and you're breaking out of this here in order to balance something out. Okay, something that you can manifest during this time, nine of swords in reverse, excitement and power. Amazing, beautiful. Mm -hmm. How, how, what is this gonna have? How is this? I'm seeing the sun here flipped over. Beautiful, amazing. It's like you're gonna step into your, uh, your own identity, but I'm seeing the two of pentacles come out again. It's by having your emotions surface, looking at your emotions, dealing with your emotions, realizing how much love you have to give here and how that love should be something that's celebrated and out in the open page of cups and that you have a lot of people interested in you. I feel like for someone here, it's love all over the world. I don't know what that means exactly, but two of cups, the world, page of cups, there is like a huge um, draw towards you and you don't do not need to be in the shadows with anything, whether that's you were put in the shadows or uh, um, some kind of truth was put in the shadows. Everything should be clear and out in the open with you. You you are a very straightforward sign when you're in your highest vibration, right? Um, like to the point where you make people uncomfortable. But that's kind of your power because you break down structures. You break down lies. You break down false um, constructs of the mind I'm hearing here. And so ultimately you're coming into your power. You're moving away from whatever this is, no matter how painful it is. It is an exciting time, like this sounds kind of morbid, but spirit is excited for this to happen, right? Because there is a regeneration here. Tell me more. Queen of Wands. Magnetism here. Beautiful. Attracted. People are attracted to you. And there is something you're doing in the public here with all of this. Okay, I'm going to go into your extended, but let me pull one last card out here to close this out. Aquarius. Focus and refinement. Your, your focus was on this quite a bit, naturally, understandably so. And now you are shifting your focus to your power, to something that excites you here, to something I feel like travel is definitely in the cards for you. And you're refining what it is that you actually want in life. Okay, Sag um, Sagittarius. No, maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, Aquarius, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.